to Adventures in Welding. I'm Paul and thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be checking out a new product from Dave Bro Incorporated called Easy Weld TIG Wire. Uh, it comes in 16th inch diameters. I think he also has it in 332. Uh, 36 inch lengths. And what his claim to fame is, according to Dale Davison, the owner, is that you can weld cast iron with it with no preheating and no post heating just fine and that is because of the uh, additive that he discovered over 30 years ago after speaking with Dale for a while he believes very strongly in his product and he uh, expressly tells us that it has no nickel in it he does not like nickel is not a not a fan of nickel at all so we've got a length of the uh, Easy Weld TIG wire right here, which you can see. And we have a rather unfortunate piece of cast iron. This is my cast iron fish bottle opener, which has suffered an unfortunate tailectomy. Uh, this was a terrible accident. The fish suffered um, just a couple minutes before you got here at the hands of a cutoff disc. It was agony for the fish, but I promised him we put it back together. So, with that being said, we've got our piece of cast iron. We've got our Easy Weld TIG wire. We got the Eastwood TIG 200 over here waiting, raring to go. Our number 17 torch with a gas lens, number 7 cup. 332nd, 2% thoriated electrode in it. Now, Mr. Davison also tells me that the Easy Weld TIG wire has some other nice features, including being able to weld mild steel to stainless steel, both of those to cast iron, and also to copper. I don't have any copper here we can play with, but I do have some 304 stainless and some 1016 mild steel, which are both about, it's like about 16 gauge. So we'll see how it does on those pieces as well. Let me get set up, and we're gonna see if we can put my fish back together again. Folks, I got the fish tacked up, ready to roll. I've got my uh, machine set for about 80 amps. Let's uh, put in a bead and see what it looks like. Well, it sure wets out fast, I'll tell you that much. I'm going to give it another wash to kind of push it into the crack there. really washed into that crack quite nicely. I'm going to flip her over, put a bead on the other side. We'll try and get you guys an arc shot.
All right, I know it's dark. You're looking through a number 10 gold lens. But as soon as I light the arc, you'll be able to see. Well, that was interesting. Did you see the uh, the sparklies off the end of the rod there? All right, I am going to put in another bead on each side. All right, guys, that is red hot cast iron cooling down. And I'll tell you what, I don't hear a single ticking, plinking, tinking sound, which means that the, uh, the cast weld is failing. Let me flip this over. We can get under it. Ooh. Just put one more feet on this side just to be good and safe. got some uh, 16 gauge mild steel 16 gauge stainless tack together let's uh, see what we can do I'm losing the grip on my torch, which is why I stopped there. All right, folks, there is our cast iron fish bottle opener. There's the weld on that side. 
there's the weld on that side and like I said I have not heard a single tink pink or pling so this stuff looks like it's the real deal for welding cast iron now we come over to the mild steel to stainless steel mild is of course on the bottom 304 is on the top we're looking a little gray here but that could just be me dwelling too long because if we flip it over and we look at the penetration the penetration has some nice color we don't get the same graying so I'm gonna blame that on me but it joined them very well minimal distortion that was at about I had the pedal max at 60 amps I'm gonna guess I was between 45 and 50 amps good penetration solid weld so where does this leave us well the only downside I can see to this product is it does not have an AWS number so you're not going to find it in any WPS's but if you're a farm welder or hobby welder and you've got some cast iron that needs to be repaired I mean hey that fish is looking pretty good I mean you know got to grind that down sand that down a little bit but that's a solid repair job as for the cast iron I mean the stainless to mild steel it looks like it did a pretty solid job but in this case there is a recommended filler for it the uh, 309L I would choose that just because there's a procedure there's a recommended but I am in no way knocking this product I think it's a fine product and I the job it did on on the cast iron is incredible so I will put a description yeah well I will put a link in the description to Dave bro incorporated where you can get this product I might even run a little crawl right down there and while you're down there, why don't you click on the subscribe button. You can also like, share, and comment. And whatever you do, please come back for the next episode of Adventures in Welding. I'll be waiting right here.